What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Plays, guys. The NFL is a little crazy right now with the start of new free agency, with the start of legal tampering, and another trade went down late last night. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching the Coach Plays YouTube channel. As always, if you would, hit that thumbs up. It always helps out the stream. And subscribe to the Coach Plays if you haven't yet. Coaches 2K Climb. All right, guys, so a trade that broke last night, you know, had a lot of moving pieces. Let's get right into it. The Minnesota Vikings traded Stefan Diggs to the Buffalo Bills, and the Buffalo Bills backed up the truck full of picks to just unload to the to the Minnesota Vikings so here's the details on the trade the Bills are trading a first round pick this year a fifth round pick this year and a sixth round pick this year and then a fourth round pick next year for the Vikings wide receiver Stefan Diggs and a 2020 seventh round pick so a lot of picks to acquire Stefan Diggs but I think if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you're probably happy. Um, first thing when I think about it, man, that's a lot of picks to give up. But Stephon Diggs is a really good receiver. And what have what's what's been the position that have, has been lacking for many years right now for the Buffalo Bills? That's receiver. Now, I will say this. This year's re uh, receiving class is pretty dang good. You probably could have went out and drafted two receivers to get your uh, young quarterback some weapons, and you wouldn't have had to trade all that capital. But, you know, they clearly like Stephon Diggs and what he can bring to the table. I think Stephon Diggs is a heck of a receiver, almost probably underrated. Um, I think a lot of Vikings fans would be upset that they're trading him, but, I mean, this has been stirring around for a year now, so he was on the way out. So for Vikings fans, I think you got to be happy with what you... Unfortunately, you gave up Stefan Diggs, but you got a lot of picks in the draft now coming to you that you're already a pretty dang good football team. You can take those picks and turn them into some good pay, uh, players if you hit on them. And this might be one of those uh, ways where both teams benefit because the Bills needed a receiver. Bad. 100%. And they got their guy. Now, like say, I think they might have could have got one or two in the draft. But who's who's to say that it would have been the caliber of Stefan Diggs? Just because it's a loaded receiver class doesn't mean you'll hit on them. You still they still got to develop. They still got to be able to play at a high level in the NFL. So you got a guy in Stefan Diggs that you know 100% he can play at this level. But as far as the Vikings are concerned, if I had to go one way or the other, like say I I would almost say that I think both these teams could win this trade. But if you had to force my hand and ask me to pick one way, I think I'm going to pick the Minnesota Vikings because I think they are a better team right now. And I think they just accumulated a lot of picks that can make their team a heck of a lot better. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think about this trade. Who do you think won? Do you think the Bills overpaid or do you think the Bills got their man? As always, guys, thank you for watching the Coach Plays YouTube channel. Hit that thumbs up. Share it out to a buddy. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the Coach Plays hashtag Coaches 2K Climb, guys. Until next time, peace.